Hello and welcome to Worcester. Um, we are just outside the ground uh, and looking forward to the third ODI uh, with uh, more hope than expectation <laughs> actually a little. It's, it's actually it's drizzling at the moment. Um, I don't think that they'll start play as it stands right now. The weather forecast is not brilliant, um, but it's still... <laughs> If we're, if we're lucky, we'll get a game in, right, Raf? I think that's, that's, that's where, where we are right now. We did drive through some very heavy showers just outside Worcester, so... <sighs> depends anyway. On, depends on the drainage. Anyway, that's, that's the weather. Um, so we were at the second ODI in Taunton. Uh, we enjoyed that a lot. Raf, how do you reflect upon that game? It's an interesting one, isn't it? Because it's one of those where if you look at the final scorecard, England won by five wickets with two and a half overs to spare. Um, so that feels like, in some ways, quite a, a, you know, a comprehensive win. Um, but actually, I wrote in my match report, and I think this was a fair reflection, um, that it was closer than that, than that really says. Um, so England, that kind of, you know, 90 odd for four, um, really, if India had got one more wicket, then they would have been in quite a lot of trouble. Um, and so I think that it was close and that um, India will um, kind of take some heart from that. I think that, in a way, that's what makes Sophia Dunkley's innings even more impressive because it was in um, such a difficult situation, potentially. And what she really did that was so impressive was kept a cool head. Uh, and that seems to be almost becoming Sophia Dunkley's hallmark is her ability to be calm in those kind of situations when she's thrown in um, at a difficult time in the game um, and still manages to um, you know to not get out on on 20 um, by um, a kind of rush of blood to the head moment she actually stayed in um, she controlled the game um, she timed things perfectly um, and obviously was um, actually ably supported by Catherine Brunt um, but I do think that, that um, it, was, it was a closer performance by India. And, and in particular, the bowlers had a good game for India, didn't they, Sid? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, um, you know, at the point that uh, Catherine Brunn and Sophia Dunkley were in, uh, the bowlers were steaming in. Um, they'd still left plenty of overs in the bag for Goswami uh, and Pandey. Uh, and they bowled really, really well. In fact, I think there's definitely an argument that Goswami actually was the best bowler on the day, better even than Kate Cross. Obviously, did take that fifer. But Goswami was like on fire, steaming in. She was aggressive. She was angry. And um, she really gave the England batters a lot of problems. Uh, but nonetheless, England came through, as you say. And again, just to sort of slightly repeat what you said, massive credit to Catherine Brunt playing a, ma a very much an un-Catherine Brunt innings. She didn't come in and try to, you know, smash 30 off five balls. She came in and played second fiddle to Sophia Dunkley, which is what the game situation needed. She realised that at that point she was actually the junior batter uh, and she played her role very much and that's what got England through that um, and, you know, produced the win. So, so do you think, um, Sid, that after that performance um, that India will be kind of going positively into this game or how, how might they approach today's match, assuming that we get some play yeah it's an interesting one isn't it this could go definitely one of two ways that either you know either India will say you know we played really well we bowled really well you know we we were kind of in a way one wicket from you know kind of being able to force through the victory if if they'd got another wicket early on in the the Dunkley Brunt partnership they would have broken through that was still a hundred runs needed and they'd have really broken through into the tail so they could take heart from that on the other hand they could go look we played really well we absolutely gave it our best and we still didn't win and you know <laughs> India could go one of two ways there, Raf. We'll find out today, hopefully, although the rain has just got a lot harder and we might have to scarf it. <laughs> scarf it in <laughs> Quick, a minute, guys. Up. End the video. Very much. <laughs> Yes. Um, well, no, the series is, still is very much alive, yeah. Raf. Uh, you know, whatever um, happens today will obviously have a bit of an impact on that. But even if England win today, India could still draw the series, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so England currently 6-2 up on points. Um, if, if England win today, then India can't win the series, but they could draw it. If they win all three T20s, it could end up being 8 all. So we'll see. And um, the, bell, the bell tolls for thee. Let's go and... Uh, and hopefully watch some cricket. The rain's got harder. Run! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>